I'm Kip Guy. I was a graduate student in the Nikolai Lab at Scripps, and I graduated in 1996. I'm currently the Dean of Pharmacy at the University of Kentucky. So I worked on the total synthesis of Taxol in Casey's lab. I was part of a large group that was working on that molecule. It was an intense competition between our group, Holton's group, and Danishevsky's group. When we finished it, we finished literally within days of one another. It's a pretty intense way to finish your PhD. People often ask me how I wound up being a dean, and usually they're expecting an elaborate plan that started in my 20s and wound up here. I can't really say there was an elaborate plan. It was a natural progress. I wanted to have a broader impact. I especially wanted to have some involvement in education and training people how to work in these areas and make their own impacts. I also want to be able to work more at a policy level, really direct where programs were going to go so that the bulk of the resources could be helping people who needed that help the most. So I started looking around for what seemed like the obvious thing to me, which was dean positions in colleges of pharmacy in areas with high health disparities. And Kentucky's the perfect co-illusion of those. It's a top flight school of pharmacy. Uh, it's a place where we have enormous health disparities, especially in the Appalachian area. And we have a really unique campus here where we have all the medical sciences and all the undergraduates co-localized in one place with a large tertiary care hospital. So for me, it was the perfect place to be. When people ask about what skills you need to succeed in this business, most people are expecting things like a high level of technical expertise in a particular science or a, a broad grasp of a field. Um, those are important. They're the base from which you build a career as a scientist. But I think the things that make you really successful are different and broader. One of the most important ones is being able to balance your life. You gotta be able to show up every day and work hard and be enthusiastic about it. And if all you have is your work, that's not gonna last very long. So you gotta find things you're passionate about that you wanna do every day that complete your life. So for me, I love being outdoors. I go out every day I can, walk or ride my bicycle, walk the dogs. I have a wife and children who I love to be with and they compliment me and keep things going. So that's a really key part of building up as a scientist is finding that balance in your life that lets you stay excited about what you're going to do.